everyone. Today we'll learn how to compare decimals. Here, Elena is explaining her brother that 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.56. And her brother is a bit surprised. Let's see how 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.56. Before that, you should know what like and unlike decimals are. I will share the link in the description. You can watch from there. So, for comparison, we have to convert the unlike decimals into like decimals. So, I'll be explaining that first. Then we are moving towards the comparison. And we can do comparison without this conversion as well. That I'll be telling you at the end of the video, the trick where you can easily understand which decimal is greater without any conversion, without doing anything, just looking at the decimal, you will be able to solve. Okay, let's begin. We have a question here. First of all, you should know what unlike decimals are. Here you can see, you have to check the decimal places. Decimal places are the, dec the digits after decimal num decimal. So here, two decimal places, because after decimal, we have two digits. One decimal place, three decimal place, two decimal place. So to convert this, these, this is unlike decimal, because... This is two decimal, one decimal, three decimal, two decimals. But like decimal means after decimal, the places should be equal number. So first of all, we'll check the maximum number of decimal places. Like here is two, here is one, here one, two, three. We have three decimal places, here two decimal places. We'll just count. So the maximum number of decimal places are three. So I'll be making all of them the three decimal places by inserting the zeros. So here, 8, 7, it already has two decimal places. So we need to add one zero to make it three decimal places. So it will be 6.870. Here I need to add how many zeros? Two zeros to make it three decimal places. Here I do not need to put any zero. Here I need to put one zero and it should be like here on the right side. Not in between, not on the left side, on the right side. And how many? Just check that how many maximum number of decimal places you need. So you can see I have put one zero here to make it three. Now you can check one, two, three decimal places. Here also one, two, three decimal places, three decimal places. Now these are the like decimals. Moving to the next. Now here you can see one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place, two decimal places. So maximum number of decimal places are two. You will not check the whole part. These, there is one, a 32, 120 need not to. You just focus on the after decimal digits. It's one, it's one, it's one. There are two decimal places. So maximum number of decimal places are two. You will be adding the zero to make the same number of decimal places. So here you need to add one zero. Here also one zero. Here also one zero. Here need not to add any zero. So we have 8.20, 32.80, 129.20 0, and 6.9. Now you can check all the decimal places are same. Now we know how to convert unlike decimals into like decimals. Let's do the comparison now. Comparison of decimals. For that, we'll just learn, understand the steps first. How we'll compare the decimals. Convert the given decimals into like decimals. So whatever the question you'll have, like we have the example here, we'll first convert this into like decimal. How? Just inserting the zero. Simple step. Here decimal places are one. Here decimal places are two. So I need to make this two decimal place. I'll insert the zero here. You can see like decimal I have made 92.10 and 91.99. Now I have made it like decimal. Second step, compare the whole part. Compare the whole part only. This is 92. This is the whole part. This is 91. This is the whole part of the other question. So which is greater? 92 is greater. It means... This 92.10 is greater. We will not check the decimal part if we can see that the whole part, which whole part is greater. So first step, always remember, compare the whole part. Whichever the whole part is greater, that is the greater decimal. If the whole parts are equal, we have the question where whole parts are equal, then compare the 10th digit. So here you can see the whole part is same, 7, 7. Now you can first make it into the like decimals. Because there are two digits, here are three digits. I have to insert one zero here. I have inserted, now check the tenth place. This is eight, this is six. Which is greater? Eight. So 7.830 is greater than 7.657. 7. 
Okay, moving to the next uh, step, that is in the tens, if the ten digits are also equal, then compare the hundred digits. If hundred digits are equal, compare the thousands digit. So like that, you can do these comparisons. So these are just simple steps. Let's do without steps, like solving the questions now. So we have this decimals, that is 5.64 and 9.7. Let's convert it into first like decimal this is two digits decimal places this is one decimal place insert one zero here now even though if you will not insert you can just check the whole part this is five this is nine which whole part is greater 9.7 so 9.7 is the greater decimal okay b part we have 37.13 37.8 now the whole part is same in this case, it was very easy. Just check the whole part and this is greater. Now, whole parts are same. Then what we'll do? Move to the tenth place. But before that, let's uh, change it into like decimal. There are two decimal places. Here one, add one zero here. So it will become 8080. That means. So 37.1, 37.8. Tenth place. This is one. This is eight. Which is greater? This one. So 37.80 is greater. So you just check the tenth place here. Now we have again whole part same 671.89 and 671.402. Now here uh, compare the 10th place. Here it is 8. Here it is 4. Here 9. Then 0. We'll just compare the 10th place. Need not to move further. Before that let's convert into like decimal. So here 8, 9. 2 decimal places. 3 decimal places. So we'll add 1, 0 here. After that, we'll compare this is 8, this is 4, which is greater? 8, 1. So, you'll write 671.890 is greater than 671.402. So, you can even by adding the 0, you can easily compare. Now, comparison of decimals without converting into live decimals this is the easiest one. You need not to add any 0. You can orally do it. Okay, let's do how we can do. Just compare the whole parts first. The decimal having the greater whole part is a greater decimal number. So for example, 24.11, 21.99. You know 24 is greater than 21. So 24.11 is greater than 21.9. We'll not check the decimal part here. When the whole part, whichever the whole part is greater, that is the greater decimal. Okay, step two, if the whole parts are equal, compare the tenth place, then move on to the hundredth place and do the further in comparison. So here you can see 4.93, 4.257. Now the decimal whole part is same. Do not convert to like decimal. Just check the tens place. This is 9. This is 2, which is greater. 9, 1. So 4.93 is greater than 4.257. Even though it looks greater. But this is greater because, because you have compared the tens place. If you want, you can do the like convert into like decimal. Add the 0. You can then directly say this is greater. Okay, we are doing this comparison without converting into like decimals. 56.634 and 98.5. So here, check the whole part. Do not check the decimal part, even though this seems greater. But before that, check the whole part only. 56, 98. Which whole part is greater? 98. So 98.5 is greater than this big number. That is 56.634. Remember, check the whole part first. B part, 45.23 and 45.9. Check the whole part, it's same. Moving to the decimal part, 10th place, this is 2, this is 9. Which is greater? 10th place, 9 is greater. We'll not check the 100th place. So it's very clear, 45.9 is greater. Moving to the C part, 342.143 and 342.73. Whole part is again same. Moving to the 10th place, this is 1, this is 7. Which is greater? 7, 1. So... 342.143 is greater than 342.73. We just checked the 10th place and we got our answer. So it's your time to do some workout. We have the question 78.45 is greater than 72.67. So you have to just write in the comments if it's true or false. If it's correct, write down true. If it's wrong, write down false. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.